She's not an underage stripper. Rather, she's Ko Seung Yi, an 18-year-old polytechnic student who's become a cyber celebrity for her acoustic versions of popular songs on YouTube. Way back before this MySpace hottie guided thousands of supporters and had boys stalking her, she had already caused quite a stir on the internet when she uploaded a cheeky video of herself dancing to a Pussycat Dolls number. The video caught on like wildfire on her campus and got every student at her secondary school talking. Like I wore like around 10, 10 clothing. So the first one was a hoodie, then I, I took it out. <laughs> so there was like nine, nine shirts left, so I took it out slowly until like the end of the song, right? I, I took out the last piece and then there was this... I drew a picture of books on, the paper, on paper and stuck it to my chest. <laughs> of course I'm wearing a shirt, lah. <laughs> yeah. What were you thinking? I don't know. I just wanted to be really funny. Well, they're still talking about her, now that her YouTube songs garner thousands of hits within days. Meanwhile, her own original songs are now covered by other bedroom singers. But the unintended effect of cyber celebrity is cyber stalkers. Yeah, there was this Indian guy from Bangladesh. I checked out his YouTube channel, that's how I found out. Yeah, and then he left a comment on one of my videos say he was like, come to India and we'll have sex. <gasps> and I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Do you get that, Gross, right? Do you get that often? Or was yeah, that I, get, I get some sick comments. Like there's another one where this guy uh, left a comment, he said that he jacks off to my face. <gasps> oh my gosh, how do you react to that? Um, do you block him or just kind of uh, I just ignore, ignore it. it, I just ignore it. Ooh, yikes. Well, Singy says that she's also got many stalkers from Thailand. Do the Thailand fans have uh, the They just try adding, they keep adding me on MSN, on Skype. I don't even know how to get my email. Yeah, just keep adding me everywhere. Okay, are your guy are your fans mostly guys or girls? Um, I think it's a it's an equal split. Okay, yeah, mostly guys maybe. Okay, so the guys they, they tend to give you the more strange, <laughs> yeah, yeah, indecent yeah. messages. Yeah, obviously. How about the girls? What do they send you? The girls, oh, no, the girls are not that stalkerish. They just they just say that they like my singing and they're, they're inspired by me. Okay, it's just neutral stuff like that. Yeah. What was your most memorable fan mail so far? Memorable fan mail? I haven't really received any fan mail. But uh, there was once there was this guy who, he rang up my doorbell and he asked me to sign his couple. Yeah. And I signed it for him. How did he ring up your doorbell? How did he know where you live? Yeah, that's the problem. I, I have no idea. So he but just he says, turned up one day? Yeah, he just rang the doorbell. And my dad was like, singing your fans outside waiting for you. <laughs> I was like, I was like, shut. <laughs> After I signed it for him, he took it back home. But then after the next day, I think he sent the couple back to my mailbox. And he said he wanted me to have it. He was feeling sentimental, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. But on later on the next day, he left me another mail saying that he wanted the couple back. Because it was, it was a very precious gift to him by someone. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So he gave it to you and he took it back. Yeah. <laughs> so so I, I actually mailed it back to his house. Taking back a gift? Talk about a shameless fan. In our next clip though, Singy tells us about how she's turning her fame into fortune. Right here, right here. 